Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create Azure database for MySQL flexible server. Then we will see how to connect to Azure database for MySQL. Connect to Azure portal in this search box that is search resources. Then search for Azure database. See here we have the Azure database for flexible server. Click on flexible servers. Click on create or click on create. Both are same. Also see here flexible server and WordPress plus flexible mysql flexible server so click on advanced create net see here the warning server names networking connectivity method zone redundant ha backup redundancy cannot be changed after server is created review the options carefully before provisioning okay so keep that in mind then in the basics select the subscription this is pay as you go if you are on free trial select the free trial then resource group Click on create new or if you are an existing, select it. Then provide the name MySQL Flex DB1. Then select the region. So I am near to Asia, Southeast Asia. Select it. See for Southeast Asia, cost has been increased. But if you select UK South. Cost is bit less. If you select, I am from India, so I am selecting South India. See, for different re different regions, cost has been increased. So select the region wherever is less. Okay. So then version. See here we have 8.0, but 5.7 is retired version. Okay. And workload types. And this is development or for hobby projects. If you select tier one, see it is. Increase it if you select far, but it will be a bit less. Okay, so for this demo purpose, I'm going to use for development or hobby projects. Then compute plus storage. See on VCU core and 2 gigabytes RAM, 20 gigabytes storage. Okay, if you want to change, click on configure. Then see here we can select. I'm okay with the default, so close this one. Availability zones, I'm going with fun. Then high availability, I'm not going to enable. If you enable, see, if you enable, it is only configured, okay. I don't want, you want, you can enable. Then authentication method, see here we have three methods. MySQL authentication, Microsoft Entra authentication only, and last option is MySQL and Microsoft Entra authentication. So I want to go with MySQL authentication, then provide the admin username. I'm giving demo user. We can't give root. See if you give root. See admin login name cannot be Azure super user, admin or administrator, root or root guest or public. Okay. So give the user other than the listed. Then provide the password. See password must contain, must be at least eight characters and at most 128 characters and these are the conditions okay then click on networking see see connectivity method select public access then allow public access to this resource through internet using public IP address okay then firewall rules see this is my IP if you want to allow public access from any Azure service within Azure to this server and we will add this IP later public private endpoint I am not going to configure then click on security I am going with the defaults then click on tax I am not going to provide any tax then click on review and create see this is the summary of the Azure database for MySQL server and this is the estimated total cost per month. If you are working with all these settings then click on create. See it is initializing and submitting deployment. See deployment is in progress. See, deployment is completed. Click on go to resource or home. Both are same. Go to resource. 
see this is the information about azure database for mysql flexible server see subscription resource group name status available location that is region availability zone My mysql version created date and server admin login name and this is the server name okay now copy this server name then connect this mysql server by using mysql or bridge or db1 if you want to install db1 mysql or bridge on your machine then go through the links provided in the video description and install it i have mysql see i have mysql or bridge and db1 see i have both so first connect with mysql workbench so open mysql workbench click on this plus button to create new connection then provide the name for the connection az flexi mysql give the name meaningful one then standard tcp ip host name give this server name port number same give the username demo user click on store in password then provide the password then click on ok then click on test connection see fail to connect to the server on the port number with the user ok the reason is because firewall setting ok click on properties then then click on public access now click on add my ip then click on save successfully updated the connection security settings now go to mysql logbench again now click on again test connection click on ok click on this one see now we are able to connect ok let us see this is the only system database if you want to create database right click then create schema then give the schema name then click on apply click on apply see new schema is created click on finish close this one administration users and privileges see we have the azure super user demo user that is the we have created and remaining are the default users comes with azure flexible server close it now verify the version of the select version select it run the query see we have installed mysql 8.0.39 it is on azure okay you can also connect to azure database for mysql flexible server from dbver open dbver as i told you earlier you can go to the link provided in the video description and install dbver edition dbver and mysql workbench now click on this new database connection then select mysql then click on next then here in the server host name we have to give the go to overview copy copy this to clipboard by clicking on this copy button go to dbver paste it port number 336 database provide any database i have see we have created auto schools so give that auto schools then username demo user see here see username is demo user then provide the password even if you forgot the password you can click on reset password then everything is fine then click on test connection connection using insecure transport are prohibited while so we have to turn off this one go to driver properties click on see here use ssl true so select it off or false then click on again select it to true then allow public key retrieval to true 
then go to the main then click on test connection see now we are able to connect see con connected successfully click on ok click on finish expand it see here we have the two database we can create database here also right click and create database then provide the database uh, to test then click on ok see need database is there even if you go to MySQL workbench click on right click right click here and click on refresh all see new database is there okay if you want to create users click on here then click on add account or in db also click on users right click users then create new user then provide the username i'm giving james i'm not going to provide any other information then provide the password then i'm go not going to do anything just click on save see this is the command okay click on persist see user is created if you go to the workbench now click on users see here we have the james user okay so we have created azure database for mysql flexible server then we have connected database by using mysql workbench and db work okay if you are not using anymore click on stop if you are not using permanently click on delete then select i read and then you have to give the server name see this is the server name you have to copy it and you have to paste here and you have to click on delete okay i'm not going to delete just i'm showing you so in this video we have seen how to create azure database for mysql server then we have connected using mysql workbench and db work for more mysql or Azure tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.